Bruins leads the NHL, the 28-year-old Russian making his 60th start of the year. Many goalies these days, AJ, don't reach the 60 mark. Yeah, that's a heavy workload. And we are underway, second line against second line to begin this game in Denver. You know, as you mentioned, they started their second line, so they get this top unit out rested. Power play brought to you by Coles, and here comes Cal McCarr. He's got room, and Gustafson, nice blocker, saved to the corner. And Gaudreau will skate it out of trouble here, shorthanded. McCarr can't find it, Eric Sinek does. Round the net he comes, using that leg to shield off McCarr, takes it hard to the net. Georgiev steers to the side. Erickson neck again. Rolls really? around and gets a shot on net. Not an easy team to play goalie for. They give up a lot of high danger chances, the Avalanche. But again, they're so good here at home. The best team in the league at home in the NHL on the power play. Here's McCarr. Save Gustafson with the right pad. McCarr got a lot on that one. And there's a turnover, and Duran heads back in. Loses control, gets it back, goes between the legs. Nifty play. Here's Devon Taves now. One timer. McKinnon, that's a big blocker save by Gustafson. Builder, good confidence builder for Minnesota early in this game, too, and tough for the Avs to come out and, and try to fire an all cylinders right off the bat. Gerard has it now. He's out there with Taves. Breezy shot. Kick save and a beauty from Gustafson. Taves, look at this passing. McKinnon just on side. Here comes McKinnon. He is flying around the net. Looking for Taves for the one timer. Save Gustafson. Rebound is loose. Trying to find it. Still alive, penalty coming up. They're second in the league in power play goals, only behind the Lightning, who won again tonight. We mentioned Kucherov, three assists, Stamkos a hat trick. McCarr, so they can draw penalties, and they've drawn two early here against Minnesota. McCarr fires, flub that one, save Gustafson, rebound, score! McKinnon, another assist, his 84th of the year. He feeds Juan perfectly. He's got a four-game goal streak and 19 on the year. But you can see it's uh, Arturi Lekanen ultimately puts this puck in, but it's yes. a great shot right there. But you know what? Actually, it's interesting. Good setup. And Makar actually flubs that shot, which sort of breaks down the penalty kill. And so that puck, but it chromes in front there. And good work by McKinnon. What I like. Number seven, just 21 years old. What a gem he's turned out to be. And you also look at now, because of the penalty kills and the 11-7 that Hines is running, there's some flubbed lines here for Minnesota as they try to get their rhythm back after those. Back come the avalanche, Cogliano. Swing and a miss on the second attempt, that one wide. Cogliano, another guy with all kinds of NHL experience. 1,291. Manson deflected, and give me that puck, says Philip Gustafson as he plucks it out of the air. They could be tied with the avalanche in points as the Avs play the Wild here tonight on ESPN. And as you mentioned, they own the, the tie break. So. Yes, Winnipeg does, correct. Goes over to Zuccarello. Brodine calls for it at the point, gets it. Bogosian towards the net, off the skate, bouncing. But the Avs get out of trouble. McKinnon, another burst. Look at him go! Nate Dog scores! Is something to watch. And we're not even halfway through this first period. It's a good opportunities for Minnesota. Bouncing puck, they can't get a handle on it. And then watch McKinnon just separate himself. The amazing acceleration, the speed that he has coming through the neutral zone. And that's when he is the most dangerous. He has first. Look at him go! Big dog! Score! Excuse me. So <laughs> big power play for the Wild here to get back in this game. Bodie to favor shot and Taves is down injured in front of his goalie play had to continue sauces it back to Matt Bodie former Boston College Eagle his Eagles are in the frozen four Kaprizov attack shot off the post save Kaprizov tries to wrap it around and Bodie or Kaprizov put it in Meanwhile, Eric Sinek is down, holding his face. Yeah. But in the meantime, it's 2-1, to one, Colorado. 
You know, take a look here, though. But Georgiev makes a great save. Watch his lateral move. He reads it coming across. He makes that save on Zuccarello. And then I think it's Kaprizov who yep. ultimately puts that one across the line. But it takes him another two whacks as he comes here. Makar and then Georgiev gets back in place and he just oh. misses it there. There, that was the high stick too, right? Yeah. So you can see it on the top, on the left side of your screen. You'll see, you know, the thing about Kaprizov is whatever's going on with this team, he still brings his A game. There's some frustration that, as you mentioned, they're on the outside right now looking in for the playoffs. The hopes are dwindling but he still brings his A-game every night. Prodeen shot, saved by Georgiev, and he holds on. But he demanded this apology video. He managed to get an apology over a steak dinner last night from Duhame, but Duhame telling us today he has waved the white flag to Fleury. Mentioned the Wild are going to snap a streak of four consecutive playoff appearances. It would be just their second missed postseason the last 11 years. Here come the Avs. McKinnon wants it! What a save by Gustafson. Again, the puck goes about 20 feet in the air. Boldy. Here he comes. He's dangerous. Kaprizov looking. Had a chance to shoot. Decides to go back. Here's Zuccarello. And Kretz score! It's a power play goal. Multiple sticks in the crease in front of Gorgiev. Boldy is the first to the bench. It's his 27th of the year. I love the way he plays the power play. He does a really good job. He's creative. He's up high. He's down low. And he ends up crashing the net. But he started this whole play up high next to Faber. And then oh, it does go yes. off his stick. And look at that traffic jam in wow. front of Georgiev. But, you know, really impressive for the Minnesota Wild. They, they didn't if you don't get your special teams going. McCarr goes to Lekkonen. McKinnon's open on the weak side for the one-timer if they can find him. There's Duan. McKinnon wants it. He wants it. Shot! Side of the post. Middleton's out there for 249. Bogosian for 208. And they're still out there after the icing. See if Colorado can make them pay. Couple of tired defensemen on the ice for Minnesota. McCarr, quick shot, score! Ah, there's the twisted wrister. His third point of the night. Two assists. That goal. Kale McCarr, it's a great faceoff win. We've talked a little bit about that. It's Duran wins the faceoff and goes right to the net. Watch the bodies there. First it's Duran, then it's Lekkonen. And you can see you've always got to keep your eyes on 29, Nathan McKinnon. What does he do? He's flipping around behind the net, distracting them, and this puck floats in. So good. Has room now to make a move, looking to make a play. Goes to Kaprizov, rips it. What a shoulder save. That was blistered by Kaprizov, looking for his second. Boldy. Zuccarello in front to Erickson. Can't put it home. Here is 3-2 Avalanche. Lekkonen. Back to Makar off the TV timeout. Of course, Jared Bedmar was sent out his big dogs. To try to get the lead. Watch out. Here comes McKinnon. Score! He's a freak show. And the Avs lead 4-2. to two. Yeah, you know, you just look, you mentioned they put their big guys out after the scrape and that acceleration right there. He accelerates straight ahead, but there he uses his crossovers. As oftentimes, you just watch about the, pat, the outside edge as he comes around, great behind the back. Here comes Hartman. He's got a man, Kaprizov, in front of the net. One minute remaining in the period. Final minute of the second. Watch out. McKinnon's got wheels. McKinnon's going to go right around Middleton. Here he comes again. Hello! Here come the hats. Hats off to one of the greatest hockey players on planet Earth right now. The, the fact that he can go lateral all the time. Watch McKinnon. He starts low. Watch his speed, too. I love that we have the stats for this. And puck comes up high, recognizes, and then he just absolutely takes off. Jake Middleton starts from a standstill, has no hope against a guy like that who has that sort of breakaway separation speed. And by the way, not a bad finish. I mean, quick hands, back. And there were a lot of hats, by Whoa. the way. Gotta this be, crowd is into it. Got to be close to a Colorado record. We're underway here. Four-point night for McKinnon. 
Yeah, Bednar talks about that. He said he needs a little more urgency offensively, likes where he's coming. Save Gustafson in front. Yeah, you, you stretch your vowels out and you go backwards. On I, know, the, she, I think she's right. No, but it depends on what yeah, side she, of the Yeah, she's Yeah, you're right. It does. <laughs> yep. Sail save. She's right. Great coach. How about the fact that he's the third longest tenured coach in the league? Unbelievable. And what a job he's done here in Denver. Yeah, and the only Avalanche coach ever to coach eight years in a row. Going back to Quebec. Good night for the Avalanche.